welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can align signals with different start time so let's suppose that we are having a signal from three different sensors those sensors name are let's say s1 s2 and the s3 and the data are coming from these sensors but they are not aligned so let's say the start time of the sensor 1 is around 500 and the start time for sensor 2 is around uh, 100 and the start time for sensor 3 is past 500. Now our task is to align these three sensors data to do synchronous processing. So this tutorial uh, in this lesson we will be solving this issue. So let's come back to the MATLAB and we are going to load the data from MATLAB default directory that is related sig okay so it's related sig let's load this so the data is loaded now we are going to get a axis one okay we are going to create a subplot for ax1 right so we need to actually plot you know the three subplots so i'm going to show you how how this data look like so ax1 subplot 3, 1, 1, it will plot a default subplot there and then we are going to plot S1 in that data, in, in, in that subplot, right? And then Y label for this subplot will be S1, right? And similarly, we are going to plot our S2 into subplot 3 cross 1 cross 2 and in this we are going to plot our s2 with y label of s2 right and similarly we are going to plot our s3 with y label s3 so let's make it s3 and subplot 3 and this would be ax3 let's plot this and type shg it will bring this into foreground now you can see the s1 data s2 data and the s3 right so our task is to synchronize this data so this is corresponding to from here and from here and here you can see these three data and here is the sampling frequency for these three data now, now I am going to, you know, uh, line these axes. Now, if you see, see here the axis, right? The 500, 1000, 1500. So, these are the sample data points. Okay. Great. So, what do I can do? I can link these axes together by using link axis function so once type here link axis and then it will link it with the x-axis right if you don't know what is the link axis you can type here link and then link uh, axis you can know more about the link axis as it says that this synchronize limits of a specified 2d axis right if you have a multiple figures right i mean multiple subplots within a figure Right, so this calling this will make all input axes have identical limits. Right. Now after this, I'm going to get the delays between subplots. So I'm going to get the delay between first subplot between first and second, then subplot between first and third, and then subplot between second and third. So these are the three, only three options here. So let's get first the delay between T. 2, 2, 2, 1. So that's the subplot 2 and the 1. Then you can use find delay method. Okay. So find delay function between S2 and S1. So this is the data. It will return the delay into T21. Now we are going to get delay between function uh, between data uh, S3 and S1. So let's type S delay. Then type here S3 and then S1. And similarly, we are going to get a delay between 
टू एंड थ्री सो लेट्स टाइप हियर फाइंड डी ले ओप्स फाइंड डी ले एंड देन इट विल बी एस टू एंड एस थ्री इनफैक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रॉम हियर एस थ्री एंड टू राइट ओके सो इट डजेंट मैटर एक्चुअली एस टू थ्री आर थ्री टू इज द सेम एस टू एंड द एस थ्री सो इफ यू सी हियर एस टू वन इज थ्री फिफ्टी एंड सॉरी इट्स टी टू वन एंड टी थ्री वन इज माइनस वन फिफ्टी एंड टी टू थ्री इज फाइव हंड्रेड राइट ग्रेट नाउ आवर टास्क इज टू लाइन अप दीज सिग्नल्स सो फॉर दैट वी कैन यूज अ लाइन सिग्नल्स कमांड सो लेट्स गेट दीज सिग्नल्स एक्स वन एंड द एक्स टू फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम सो द एक्स वन सॉरी एक्स वन एंड द एक्स थ्री एंड नाउ इन दिस कमांड एक्स वन एंड एक्स थ्री विल बी अलाइंड सो यू कैन यूज अ लाइन सिग्नल्स कमांड इन दैट वी नीड टू पास हियर एस वन एंड एस थ्री राइट सो वंस वी पास एस वन एंड द एस थ्री इट विल असाइन इट विल align s1 and the s3 and aligned data will be written into x1 and x2 right x x1 and x3 and the similarly we need to align our x2 and we can align it with the align signals okay now we need to align s2 and s3 so in this case x1 x2 and the x3 will be aligned together now we are going to here create a new figure right so in this figure i am going to you know plot the axis first axis which i had got from you know from the first subplot earlier that is the x1 and then i am going to plot here that x1 right and the similarly it's 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 plot x1 right and then the similarly i am going to plot for x2 right and then i am going to plot for x3 right now you can see here your signal actually i should have you know um this is has this has updated the figure 1 instead of figure 2 but as you can see now here that a figure in a figure 1 the signal has been aligned right so if you see here the x1 x2 and the x3 which is corresponding to s1 s2 and s3 has been aligned together now this signal is ready to process now what you can do as you see here this x1 x2 and the x3 is is multiple row and the single column so what you can do uh you can create a single variable let's say x and then you can concatenate it together x1 and then x2 and then finally x3 right and now you can see here x1 is 2771 cross 3 and now you can plot this x right let's type shg it will bring this you know in front of others so let let me close this and uh, let me show you it one more time if you plot this signal right if you see here the all signal has been started from a single location right how you would the census data are mixed up together but this clearly shows that the census data are aligned with the time okay so this is all about how we can align the census data using align signals function of a matlab Thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel in the next video i'll covering how you can align these signals using cross correlation thank you bye bye have a nice day